This is the Guardian. No Clark, it looks like it just keeps going from bad to worse for No Clark, innit? No Clark quits his own production company following sexual misconduct allegations. Um, the film and TV star actor has left the unstoppable film and TV after more than 20 women accused him of bullying and harassment. No Clark has left his production company. Um, Clark 45 has left the firm, which he produced his Sky series, Bulletproof, as well as films including Adulthood and Brotherhood, um, along with co-founder John Mazza. The company was founded by the pair in 2017 and was backed by the super indie distributor All Free Media, who confirmed the departure of state statement in Variety. Clark and Mazza have been suspended from the company for The Guardian's initial reporting. Also, so him and his him and his partner both resigned from the company they set up i guess that's the again that's a really annoying thing about or the really frustrating thing about people that do such things and get you know become sexual predators at the workplace or with their team and stuff in creative industries usually the people that suffer the most are the people attached to you who just work for you who just do a job they suffer the most that is because their reputation also gets tainted because of the stuff that you get up to and then of course projects that are feeding people's families paying people's mortgages get you know um get basically held up and put on pause and because maybe of the negative press they get completely canned for Flipping Ash, Asher D, Ashley Waters, whatever his name is, right? Had to flip in. He got insanely ripped for that series. They did Bulletproof, moved into a new mansion that I mentioned seeing on the timeline, like all on the back of them signing this series with Sky. And then this happened, blows up his face. Imagine how he feels. It's such a selfish thing to do that's what it is it's really selfish because number one you're obviously not taking into account the other person's feelings and how they feel about the situation in general and you're completely violating their trust and you know their privacy and everything else and you know all the other nonsenses that goes on top of it and you're then affecting everybody else that works in and around you and negatively affecting their future maybe you cost them their job you could you break up marriages and shit like it doesn't you know i mean like it's, it, it has such a devastating effect these things i'd imagine um and he continues as best known for his work with the hood for serious films beginning in the kiddo 2006 then doctor who clark has been a high profile figure in the british film and television since the early 2000s as an actor producer and director actor 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 And I think at the time too, when he got that BAFTA, if I'm not mistaken, he did, he was aware of the allegations at the time and he still received it, you know, gladly smiling for the cameras. I think if you did walk back at the pictures, he did look a little bit apprehensive, don't get me wrong, but still. Um, I think the only good thing to come out of this is that because it happens to high profile guys, it maybe does send an example, it does kind of set an example to others, you know, that everyone will be treated the same. It doesn't matter what your station is, what your reputation is, what stuff you've done prior. Eventually the law and karma will eventually catch up with you. So it should hopefully put people off. But I just wish we were, I just wish more people, especially in the creative field, would just abstain from doing stuff especially when it comes to people that you work with day to day it just seems so unfair right because they're put in a bad situation where they don't want to negatively imagine if you're one of the girls that were unfortunate enough to be at the end of his harassment at the workplace you don't want to say nothing as well because of how famous he is and the influence he has he might you know put pressure on you not to say stuff that might negatively affect the way you do work it might negatively affect how you're perceived by other people people talk you know gossips kind of you know people start gossiping behind the scenes making it seem as if like you're complicit to it it just negative affects people in such a way man it's so so selfish it continues says however the award was later withdrawn along with uh, class BAFTA membership after the testimonies of 20 women who alleged that he had either bullied harassed or behaved in a sexually inappropriate manner towards them having met them in an either a work capacity or in his role as a mentor for aspiring actors imagine how sick that is among the claims against Clark were an indecent exposure filming secretly filming a naked audition gross groping colleagues after the Guardian's investigation Sky BBC and ITV all cut ties with Clark with the final episode of Clark's ITV show Viewpoint moved from a linear broadcast to on demand further allegations leveled against Against Clark in May saw him accused of sexually inappropriate behavior on the set of Doctor Who between 2005 and 2010. So he's been doing this for a minute, which is, again is proof that it's very rare that you'll find somebody that has like one accusation against their name. I think in general, I think most people should probably keep that in mind. If you hear of somebody is being charged with some or is being accused or no, if you hear somebody's being accused of, you know, something to do with sexual assault, then more often than not, it's probably wise to just keep your distance in general. And unless you can kind of, you know, 
with your own experience kind of ascertain that this obviously is not true but it might just be wise for lack of a better term just to kind of stay away and kind of find another friend to 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 kind of mentor you or somebody else that you might need to kind of intro yourself to because it's just not worth the risk if they've done it once they've definitely done it twice you know i mean it's just not something that you kind of do once by mistake and then you kind of stop doing it if you're a predator in that respect in that respect Scotland Yard confirmed that there are currently no criminal charges against Clark in a statement released last week. They said that a number of other women have since come forward with claims which the police are investigating. Clark has denied any sexual misconduct in a statement at the time. He said, in a 20-year career, I have put inclusivity and diversity in the forefront of my work. If anyone who has worked with me has ever found comfortable or disrespected, I sincerely apologise. I've been denied any sexual misconduct or wrongdoing and intend to defend myself against these false accusations. Yeah, you have to say that, really, don't you? What else are you going to say? You can't come up and admit it because, you know, it's pretty sick what he's basically been accused of. Um, Variety reports the junior production staff and Unstoppable also left the business with all three potential, um, potentially looking to transfer his existing projects to other companies. Jesus Christ. So the whole company is basically folded and they're going to transfer whatever remaining projects they have to other companies. I guess they're going to buy up the rights. According to Companies House Direct Documents, Clark and Mazza resigned uh, in the 29th of July with all three CEO Jane Tutram, Chief Financial Officer, and the rest of them remaining on his board. God damn, imagine if you just signed up, you just got a job at all free media, you was just an intern or you just started as a runner or whatnot or, what, or whatever and you're looking forward to, you know, getting your teeth sunk into a couple of projects, maybe you pitch something and you got some good responses from the people, from the powers that be and then suddenly the guy that you kind of went there for somebody who you obviously think you kind of leverage his clout and his fame to kind of boost your career gets accused of sexual misconduct and the whole house of cards comes tumbling down like oh such a selfish act man it really is the height of selfishness i think